Welcome back to the show. With all of our busy and hectic schedules and lifestyles, we tend to forget about what's going on today or tomorrow, let alone what happened in our communities 50 or 100 years ago. Joining us now are two guests who are hoping that that's not the case and looking to change things up. It's Louise Peacock from, uh, ha sorry, the Alfie organizer and Heritage Mississauga curator, Sophia Kuradova. She's here to talk about the Rebellion of 1837 Remembered. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Now, before we get into the actual event, the Rebellion of 1837, the whole exhibition, is the history of Mississauga sort of get thrown by the wayside? Do we tend to forget about where we come from in our community? Yes, Louise, we do. you think so? Yes. Yes, why? Why do you think that is? Because it's uh, so yesterday. So yesterday. Mm. It's pretty short and sweet, I guess. Yeah, so I mean, this event is something that can help all of us out there remember what took place. And Zofia, if you can give us a little history lesson here, Rebellion of 1837, that'd be great. Okay, well this year we'll, we're celebrating the 175th anniversary of the Rebellion of 1837. So that's why we're focusing, but we're only focusing on a short part of the Rebellion. The three days of December 6, 7, and 8 that William Lyon Mackenzie and his rebels flew through Mississauga. So we asked our artists to sort of capture an image along the route of his flight through Mississauga. Okay. So was, was Mississauga a big part of this rebellion of 1837? Was it an important part of that journey? Kind of. Yeah? Yes. In what ways? Well, the, uh, there were many supporters and there were many dissenters and William Lyon Mackenzie chose to wa wind his way through the countryside and go to the houses of supporters so that he could rest. Mm. So that was the, the basis for um, his, his supporters were in Mississauga. They were farmers and blacksmiths, people who were filling the edge of the, um, the Brits who were coming down really hard tax-wise and not doing a lot for them. Mm. So the community of Mississauga really gave back to him as well? They did. Really neat. Interesting. Now, Zavia, as a curator, how did you come about all the different pieces of art for this exhibit? Well, we just invite artists, whoever wants to contribute something to the contest. We always call to artists to, you know, give something and think about what they want to create for the contest. And we just look forward to all the different pieces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we've got some pictures, I guess, of the pieces mm -hmm. that are going to be on display here. And here is a sampling of them. What are we taking a look at here? So this is just uh, some pictures that we have on the mantle. These are not a part of the ex exhibition. So okay. in the middle, you have a picture of William Ma Lyon Mackenzie and the pictures of the rebels on his left and right. So this is literally, this is the history right there. We're taking That's a look at it. That's the history right well, there, exactly. Actually, the one on the left um, depicts the battle, which was done in something like 15 minutes. They decimated that mm -hmm. building. And William Lyon Mackenzie and his captains, if you will, flew away from the building on horseback mm -hmm. at high speed until they got to the Humber River. They ditched the horses, walked across a footbridge into Mississauga. Really? Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. And walked most of the way through their uh, little flight. Really neat. Mm -hmm. So when visitors come to this exhibit, are they really going to get a sense of the history and what actually took place? I we hope have so. <laughs> <laughs> That's the goal, anyway. Yeah. That's the goal, right? Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that, I mean, there's artists, there's judges. Is there going to be a winner of, of the pieces of art that are there? Done. Yeah, it's already it's happened. It's already it's happened. Already happened. It's already happened. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so how did you decide that? Well, we had four judges. I was mm -hmm. one of them. And uh, we sort of decided together. Everybody marked. We had little sheets that we marked mm -hmm. our pieces on. And then we decided together whether, yes, we want this one to be the winner. But I think it was pretty clear. What so. made it so clear? Because uh, the winning piece was very well done in artistic way but also hi historically significant mm -hmm. so I think both those things combined make it a winner what was it can you describe to us what it actually it's was? a oil painting mm -hmm. and she portrayed uh, flight of the rebels through a snowy woods and on the left hand side there's a picture of, of William, William Lyon Mackenzie Blended so into the woods. Blended in, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. oh, fantastic. So mm -hmm. when attendees come to the event and they're looking at all these work, they're going to see the winning piece, but they're also going to see all the rest of the artwork as well. That, they are. That yes. Right. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Absolutely. Get a piece of history while you're mm -hmm. at it. Yeah. Yeah, and take a look at uh, all the local artists and what they have mm -hmm. to offer in the meantime. Absolutely. Wonderful. Well, ladies, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, Louise and Sophia, you can check out Heritage Mississauga and Alfie, what they have to offer. Rebellion of 1837, remembered 
That's going on June 22nd. Oh, that's today. There you go. Right now, yes. Yeah, so go out there after you watch the show, of course. We're going to wrap <laughs> in 60 minutes. And that's then you right. can head on out there to check out a piece of history of what Mississauga has to offer. For more information, you can go to www.heritagemississauga.com or www.lfu.com. We'll be right back after this on Daytime.